Good morning, everyone. It's Dave Weiner here. I'd like to do a little demo today of a new piece of software called Ping Writer. And uh, I want to start off by saying that there's no script. I'm totally winging it. <laughs> um, I'm doing this basically for a few friends just to show you all what I've been doing. And it also helps me review the product, too. So it's a good thing to do. So first thing you do is um, you click on this and you click on sign on Twitter and it brings me back and now I can see a little editing sort of form and it says this is the place so what we're doing here is we're creating a blog post but the interesting thing about that blog post is that it's going to go to Twitter and it's not going to be limited to 140 characters the title is limited to 140 characters but the body of the post can really be as long as you want and the trick that we use is that when we post it to Twitter this part goes as an image and this part just goes as the text of the tweet so um, I'm sure you've seen lots of people post text uh, as images to Twitter the thing that's different about ping writer is that it flows like a word processor it's that easy to work on so um, so here's a, and I'm using a test account here, so no, this isn't going to go to my main Twitter account. I don't want to bother people with my little tests. So, um, so this is a test of some software that I'm working on. Dot, dot, dot. And um, you can see down here there's a counter. Here, let's just do this. And you can see it starts off with seven. I wonder why that is. And the reason why is that I have told it to use a tag called hello. Let's just change that to testing. Or hello there. So how many characters do we add? One, three, four, five. So it should now be 12 characters, I think. So I click OK. And let's just, yeah, it's 12. So it's counting, it's also including the, uh, the hashtag that I've put on there. And then uh, this is a test, the emergency broadcast system. Had this been an actual emergency, you would have been instructed to tune to a local station for news and information. So let's just change that back to I-N-S-T-R-U-C-T-E-D. So I guess the first thing you can see is there's a paragraph. I'm just going to copy this. Let's make it a few paragraphs long. And I think you kind of saw that, that when I select a word, or actually it doesn't have to be a word, it could be a phrase. So let's go for emergency. So let's capitalize that. Emergency, whoops. Emergency broadcast system. And then when you select it, I could make it bold like that. Or bold and italic. Let's just do it that way. And uh, what else can I do? Well, I could put a list in here. And what I do is select it and then click on the, this is, you can barely see it. These are numbers here. Or if I just wanted a bulleted list, I could do that. Um, well, this is something, I'm going to show you a, 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 a text quote. This is something a friend, I don't learn how to spell, said to me, Blah. <laughs> Dave, learn how to type. <laughs> there, let's just make this a little longer. And then, you know, you kind of want to offset this from the rest of the text. So you do that, and it does that. And if you want to add a little emphasis, you could also italicize like that. Uh, what else? Um, Let's put a section heading. Do 
is you select the text and you go H4. H4 is the technical term for what you're doing there. Um, is that it? And, oh yeah, you can also put links in there. So um, and that, it's an interesting question, why would you put a link in? So here's my blog. My blog is scripting news and I select this and click on the link item and then I type in see and um, the reason you do that well first of all it will be taken out it won't go to Twitter this is just going to be an image when it shows up on Twitter and um, uh, however it also flows out to an RSS feed and that could be picked up and through, you know, if this, then that, uh, or to whatever, you know. And in there, the, the link should be a real link, right? And it, 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 is, and it is. So that's cool. Um, and I think that's about it for the text formatting. Now, suppose you want to see what this is going to look like when it goes over to Twitter. That's what this preview section is for. And there it is. You can see this is roughly what it's going to look like. I, I've just sort of cobbled together a little my own Twitter renderer. It isn't this isn't Twitter doing this. This is my code that's doing this. It gives you a rough idea of what it'll look like when it's over there. And uh, so now the proof is in the tweeting, right? <laughs> so there it is. That's the button. If I want to post this, then I just go ahead and click on this. So let's do it. And it comes up and confirms, do you want to that's this is, by the way, a ping graphic. It's a name. It's like JPEG or GIF or whatever. It's a relatively new format. It's uh, more efficient. It's also licensable, which is nice. It's not. There are no tar no patents or uh, copyrights or whatever. So I click on OK, and it takes me to the tweet. And there it is. That's the tweet. It's already up there. And uh, I go back to Ping Writer. And if I want to start over, that's it. Everything starts over, and it's ready for another test. Let's do a shorter one, etc. So I don't overwhelm you. And there's a short one, just says etc. etc. And you know, there's a lot, actually, a lot more you can do in terms of customizing this, but. Uh, for right now, um, I think the demo went pretty well, huh? Okay, hope you enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.